Okay, spoiler warning before we get into any of it. If you're listening to this and you haven't watched Stranger Things, go out, watch it. It's good. I'm telling you right now. Okay, my dad does not like horror um, movies or shows at all. And we showed him the first five, ten five, minutes. Ten minutes. Well, up until the first ti- the, the title sequence of the first episode and he was like okay I'm gonna go get Netflix again and I'm gonna watch this you get hooked on it cause yeah. we, like literally it draws you in there was not one episode I was telling him this, there was not one episode that we watched where we weren't just like there was like I, I will say there's probably like one or two where I was like okay you mean in season three yeah season three I, if okay none of the show is trash but if I was going to represent any of the seasons as trash season three like but but then again, season three had some really cool concepts and some really cool I, things. I in really it. do think we're gonna have to rewatch it. Yeah. As much as I I don't like rewatching stuff like immediate like that. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at them. Yeah. I'm saying like. I'm trying to get sympathy for how <sighs> ridiculous that statement is. Why? <laughs> okay, because I just saw it. I like to be surprised with new content. So yeah. why am I gonna rewatch something immediately after I just watched it? The reason it? why is because. If you rewatch it, then you then you get things that you missed that you're like, oh, this is why that happens then. Okay. Like, okay, in the very beginning, when Will is in the when Will is loading up the little shotgun BB gun or whatever, mm-hmm. and then he's standing there like staring at the door, and the thing rises up behind him. I didn't see that the first time. Okay, I didn't, and so when I watched it again, I was like, oh shit, that is the fucking oh, that's Demogorgon. That's why like, you're little, like, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that, yeah, so I'm trying to. Involve you in the amazingness and, and, that I see. Well, and to be fair, I didn't remember him actually trying to make a phone call. I guess he was trying to call nine one one. And then, <laughs> like, well, and you know what's static. cool? Well, knowing the show now, yeah, the things that we probably saw but never picked up on mm-hmm. were all the flashing lights or yep. the flickering lights. Like in that very first scene, where all the flashing. When I said, and that, it, yeah. you, you have, we had no idea what to expect. Was well, this an actual like? Your dad was like, "Oh, alien," but we didn't say anything. So we didn't yeah. want to like, yeah lead him in that direction yeah um but it was like yeah is it alien uh is it like, like ghosts yeah, is it like paranormal is, stuff what is it like yeah. and so you don't know and so you, you just think general scary movie like think yeah. resident evil yeah okay and so that totally set it up dark kind of dark hallway yeah lights flickering yeah and so that you just think it just goes with the scariness but yeah. the lights flickering actually had a major thing to do with with the whole story, yeah, but then, see exactly. Now you're making the point that I made to you. <laughs> <laughs> you got proof. I mean, you guys see that I make good points, and the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anyways, no. okay, okay. So no, really good fucking show. Uh, the first season was amazing. There was like, there really wasn't anything about that. For okay, Winona Ryder was annoying as fuck for about four seconds because she was pissed off at Hopper just trying to help. Yeah. Like, like there was one thing after, re- cause I've been rewatching it to try and get more notes to take down for our live stream. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday, August 31st, if this comes out before then, then go join the live stream. But if this comes out after it, well go and watch the replay. Um, <laughs> the whiskey capitalists were doing a, um, uh, stranger things, like review of like, all the seasons and everything. More in depth. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, I made a cool little uh, made a cool little intro sequence thing right here, and That's I'm probably awesome. gonna play it right here. Okay, yeah, so that was fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but yeah, no, I'm. we're doing that on Wednesday, August 31st, and we're going to go through all of it. But um, You should actually make that into a shirt, to be honest. The, the Whiskey Capitalist podcast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely thinking about that. Um, I think I, did I write that down on our little, on our little thing? No, I didn't. But uh, yeah, it's. The black, it's the, the red, yeah, it's kind of it, cool. It's, yeah, you know. it's, it's definitely, uh, 
definitely appealing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, where was I fucking going with that? Oh, just watch more oh, detail with doing the yeah the doing the stream. rewatch of it. I've been trying to do the rewatch so I can take some notes for it and everything. But um, yeah, there was a scene. I think it was like in the seven seven the second episode where uh, Hopper is over at. Um, at Joyce's house or at Winona Ryder's house. Yeah. And like, oh, hey, what's going on with the dog? And she goes, oh, he's probably just hungry. And I was like, why are you going to be all snappy? He's just trying to figure out what's going on with him while he's barking at some shit. Like, you're trying to look for your fucking kid. Like, yeah, but she's also distraught. <laughs> exactly. So. so, like, it's that, like, why are you going to be a bitch? But then... <sighs> and you know what? It still, like, makes me laugh. Will's brother. I'm sorry. There's something wrong with that dude's face. Oh, Jonathan? Yeah, he looks like fucking Michael Jackson, like, in the middle of getting the operations to make him white. I don't know what it is. I think it's like maybe it's he's British. His <laughs> eyes are really close together and yeah. squinty. Yeah. He's so, a little TikToked. And yeah, he looks a little TikToked for yeah. sure. And, and I don't know, there's something. So remember, I'm still sticking to my original uh, comment with he's a combination of all the actors in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> so you look, I still, yes. look at uh so, who are the three? It's Johnny Depp, right? Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, As and the then... TikTok. Yeah. He plays a good TikTok. Yeah, he does. Okay, so, Leo, and then who's the third? I don't know that guy's name. I don't either. So, all three of them? Who is it? That's sad. Yeah. We should know who it is. Yeah. It's I've, someone popular. I've only seen... I've seen it, like, twice or three times. Oh, what's really funny about that movie, talking about scroll moment, because I'm good at this. Yes. Uh, so I had no idea, like, one of the reasons why their family was always made fun of is because their mom was obese, like, my 600-pound life. Is it Crispin Glover? I have no idea who that is. That, that guy? Wait. That guy? Was uh, it him as a kid? Uh, uh, no. No, not him as a kid? <laughs> no. It said that he was he was in the movie. He's so. in the movie, but that's not one of the kids. Okay, what were you saying? Yeah, he's definitely that that Jonathan's face is definitely a combination of all. Okay, them. my and my take on that is I think Jonathan looks like uh the son from Nip Tuck. Yeah. The weird Uh yeah, I can kind of see it. Yeah. But um so I know your favorite character is Dustin. Dustin and then Steve. Which I didn't like Which for the we, first we six episodes. Which we discussed this. So yeah. I absolutely love what they did with his character development. Yeah. Because uh, like they said they were planning to do is make him hated. Yeah. And, and they were going to kill him off. Yeah. And they did a good job at doing that. But there were still moments of... Good. Um, in, like, yeah. yeah. He, like, because like, cause, I you mean... You saw, he was, like, specs of it. He was kind of a douche. But the, he was just like your kind of typical high school dude trying to get laid. Like that yeah. was his whole thing. And then it was but just even, his buddy. Those the, oh yeah, those those two fucking. Oh my god, guns. I want to punch that guy in the face. But even when he was like with Nancy up in up in her room or whatever, he wasn't a like a pushy dick. He was just kind of like putting the moves on kind of thing. He wasn't really like. But it's weird. I bet if we take a look at that again mm -hmm. and then see how he is with the scoops troop. Totally different. Oh yeah. Oh, completely. <laughs> um, no, but uh, and then, but then he wasn't. He was an asshole to Jonathan. Uh, but Jonathan was kind of creepy too, taking pictures of them all in, all by the pool. Like I don't know. That was a creep factor right there. Oh yeah, exactly. And uh, I I understand. He played the role of every creepy leering dude in yeah. every movie. The where Tom. it's like, yeah. But, but I, I, okay, so it's one of those things where it's like, it's nuanced. It's like, I understand that, I understand why Jonathan was there because he was trying to take pictures of where Will was and was, he was just out in the middle of nowhere. And he's like, oh, these are interesting pictures. But then it, he took it a little, he took it far. There's one thing to just stop, stop taking pictures and to be watching. Yeah. But he continued to watch and take pictures. Okay, so it's like the keeping only one Tom that, thing. The only one that was bad, it was of her in the room taking her shirt off. That's the only, all the other ones were, they were just kids fucking jumping in a pool. Yeah, but he needed to stop at that. Yeah, exactly. And then he's like, I'm going to watch them get it on. He's not getting laid and needs some spank bag material. Like, come on. I'm not <sighs> saying that I would do what? that. Nancy but... looks like a, a four-year-old boy's body. <laughs> yeah, she's got like the little... She, I got bigger titties than she does. She's tiny. Yeah. She's like, like, I don't even know how short she is. <laughs> Linda height. <laughs> 
Damn. But narrow. <laughs> yeah. You mean like a regular person just hurt height? Okay. Uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, inside joke, guys. Uh, but anyways, no. So and then he, Steve was an asshole. You know, doing the whole you know Nancy's a slut. You know, whatever. You know, all that spray yeah, paint and all that. Yeah, but he immediately was like. And he, this is he, fucked up. Yeah, and he, he went back like and he, immediately, yeah. and then he got in the fight, and then yeah, he went back to the movie theater. He was like, "Hey, you need a hand." And like, didn't you have something to do with it? He's like, "I just want to make it right." It was like, "Okay, so cool." So like, he immediate redemption on yeah. that. Yeah, and so um, and then so that I I think I talked to you about this, but that end scene where he comes over to uh Jonathan, you know, the buyer's house with mm-hmm. Nancy and he shows up and you know he he has his face all beaten in cuz his friend, you know, whatever. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, and they're trying to find they're trying to have the demo oh. Oh, that's right. They're trying to have the Demogorgon come to the house, and so they cut their hands to make for blood, and his <laughs> face has blood on it. Yeah. Like, so it's that, like, oh, Steve's going to die. Like, when I first, when I oh, saw yeah. that, like, Steve's going to die. Well, originally, um, they were going to have Steve killed off before that episode, in like, in the original script. They were going to have Steve killed off, and the person that was going to come to the house uh, was going to be a redemption arc was going to be Lonnie, Jonathan's yeah, dad. which made no sense to me because they really didn't, like, Set up filter. His character. Yeah, like... Like, I didn't, I like was so neutral about him. I was just like, eh. Yeah, I like, was like, oh, you're. Why are we introducing him? He's He was pointless. Yeah, exactly. He really was. Yeah, you know, it's just setting up how, you know, no one cares about dads and kids' lives anymore. Um... <laughs> Not him and his new slut girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I'm going to trade you in for the for the newer model. Yeah, like, oh, bitch, the fuck? That's how, the you know, that's how you know that you got trailer trash. Yeah, it was the 80s. Uh, but, um, no, but I mean, okay, we, favorite, we need to rewatch it. We need to rewatch it, but uh, recalling through the four seasons is yes. maybe a little difficult at this time to figure out, but... What would be your one of your leading or most favorite scenes? Um, a little tough, right? A little tough. I liked the. Um, do I have my no? Okay, my ringers off. Um, I don't know, man. Like there were so many cool scenes. Um, oh, season four when she gets when she's. Uh, the Chrissy, the cheerleader, when she goes up into the fucking air for the first time and her fucking ar- her legs break and her jaw goes that that I right was, there was like fuck. Dude. I was not expecting not that. At all. I didn't think we and were gonna get eyes. to that level. And I'm like, <sighs> okay, it was cool. Yeah. That, uh, what about I, you? For me, it was the moment we connected the dots and when we found out who. Uh, who the bad guy was throughout. Vecna. The, Vecna. The, 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 was Henry. Was and, literally yeah. number one. Yep. So finding that out, because I literally thought the whole point of yep. them capturing Eleven again and they hear and go through yeah. all of the past stuff was just for her to regain her strength and her yeah. powers. That's all I thought it was. But like then you re- find out Realize, Dean, like, yeah. this is what you did and what you're capable of and bring that power back. Yeah. But then when we, when we find out, just like she finds out that... She did not kill those people. Yeah, which was cool because then it, there's not so much on her character. The on her only conscience. people she did kill were the guards yeah. that were outside her door. Yeah, which, but yeah, she was in like a broom closet. Yeah, exactly. There were okay. There were a couple of things about season one where I was like, okay, you're gonna teach this fucking, you're gonna teach this little girl how to move shit with her mind, but you're not gonna teach her to speak in basic fucking sentences. It was definitely uh, reminding me of the trash lady on Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, what was her fucking name? Oh, my gosh. Uh, fucking Mildred or some fucking weird shit like that. Um, I don't her know. Her real name was Anne. Yeah. Like, her, you know, throughout her life through the story. But what was it? Fuck. I don't know. Anyways. But her. I'm like, just really, like, why are we... Why are we... And it, Papa and, it, and promise and it's so weird lie. like how you leave certain filler words out yeah. if you can't speak properly nope. but I guess it was like you Kevin think of, in the office well yeah but I guess you think of like somebody who d- their native language is in English yeah. and they're trying to um, communicate with you they're yeah. only saying like the main words what, but what what I thought was funny is like you saw Want Mike ice cream now <laughs> you, you saw you saw Mike in real time learn what it's like to be in a relationship with a woman 
because he said, so you're going to go around to the front and my mom's going to, you're, you're going to ring the doorbell and my mom's going to know exactly what to do. And she goes, no. He's Wait, like, what? Okay, when, when she first comes into the house and she's living under the little table and has a little sheet yeah. or whatever and she and it's the next day and their oh, whole plan yeah. was to have her go outside around the back and ring the doorbell and then he was like, and then we would have to like re-meet meet again and then he, she goes, no. And he goes, no, <sighs> no. And then, God damn, okay. Well, you can you see think about like, it. Fuck. Think about it, like she just came from being no, this I, prisoner. I know, it, you know, oh, just, but just, it, him. just as a funny joke, he's, like, he's just kind of like, shit, like, I can't sit. I thought it was crazy, like, how how much older everyone looked so quickly well, throughout those. Co- the COVID stuff. So, but yeah, but it was only 2016, 2016 to... 2022. 20, 20, 20, well, because it came oh, out this year. Season four came out this year. But I was like, damn, so like they look like way different. 2015 to 2021, because that's when they were shooting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. So, I mean, you know, but coming from like 12 or, you know, 11 yeah, or I guess 12. That's right and when you. Yeah, there's so much growth, you know, go through your awkward stage and whatever. Talk about awkward stage, fucking will. 11 pretty much stayed the same yeah. throughout. To me, she didn't look much different. No, it's like um, her her face, her didn't... head just, you know what I mean? Her features grew, but her face really stayed the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but Will, Will looked more and more gay each <laughs> gay. season. and uh, Which is fine. Whatever, but just admit it. They you needed know? to not have the Beatles haircut on that poor guy. He, okay, the amount of... Dude, uh, he had the worst haircut. His he mom, looks like a penis. Yeah, he had the Karen of the, of the 70s yeah. look. Hello? Am I doing this right? Hello? Hello? Is this on? Hello?